a lot of you guys are 1400 2800 maybe $4,200 more richer this month. Um, and hey, I get it. You know, me, my wife, and my two $1,400. I mean, my two kids are, you know, pretty happy right now with the extra little bonus. However, um, right now, a lot of you guys are struggling with buying a home. And the natural question is, Javier, do I use this money to buy a home? Can I use it to, you know, strengthen my offer? Yada, yada, yada. So listen, this is completely in a pain territory here. I'm not going to sit here on my soapbox and say what you should do with your money. Obviously, educate yourself and do what's best for your family. But if you had to ask me and you want my opinion, here is what I think. Let me break down what your options are right now as a home buyer. Now, once again, I'm speaking to markets that are heavily uh, seller markets. Uh, maybe your market's different, so please keep that in consideration. Right now, you're up against a lot of strong buyers. Maybe buyers that have a higher down payment than you. They have the, the ability to risk more money. They have the ability to maybe pay cash. And you're at a disadvantage right now when you're there's a 20 uh, multiple offer situation and there's people waving things and throwing cash at the seller, right? The market doesn't favor buyers who are strong with credit, strong with down payment right now. They are favoring people who are able to take a high risk, meaning, hey, let's waive our appraisal and if it doesn't come in at value, it's okay, I have an extra 10 or $20,000 to give the seller. Keyword, give the seller. It is a seller's market right now and it sucks for buyers, but the, uh, I mean, let's be honest here. There's certain cities that are just gonna stay more expensive. So if you don't get a house soon, you're gonna miss out on getting a home. Not every city is gonna do that, but at this point, pretty obvious some cities are gonna stay more expensive. If that's a current situation and it continues to stay as a current situation, what is this extra, let's say you have three kids. Let's. What does this extra four or $5,000 do really? Well, it gives you a little more cushion, right? So you can either increase your down payment. Maybe you were at 3%, now you can go to 5%. Maybe you were, around you were you, you were going to do five but you were close to 10 but not really now it's going to get you to 10 or maybe you might say hey this will pay my closing cost for me but right now it is in my opinion that you should not be buying a home if you're depending on help from the down payment assistance program or depending on help from closing costs so right now as a buyer you should have these two things ready to go already regardless if you're buying right now or down the road so if that opinion is true what is this extra of four to five thousand dollars for exactly? Well, um, it's going to do two things. For those who were not strong buyers initially, who didn't have enough closing costs, are now going to have it. Now, once again, these buyers didn't really have a chance right now. Anyways, they're still struggling for now. Hopefully, the market adjusts soon. But these markets are still having a hard time. So this added bonus, all it really did is it got them to the playing field. Not even the playing field. Some op markets you don't need, you need more than just paying your closing cost, right? So it just got them to that minimum threshold of competing. And what that's gonna do is they're just gonna be throwing offers to the seller and making things a little harder for everyone else. Okay, so that scenario doesn't really work. So how about the ones who already have the closing cost saved? What if those have that down payment saved already? And maybe you have a little extra money in the bank. What does this do for you? It perhaps give you, gives you the ability to just risk a little more. Hey, those extra four to $5,000 just provided a cushion. Maybe you say, hey, well, since I have that now, let's see if we can waive something. Here's my opinion after freaking talking forever. Do not give your money to the seller. This money is not, this is not called the seller stimulus bill. We're like, hey, I'm gonna give money for sellers because they need more freaking money. No, whatever you do with this money, please, please, please do not use it to buy a house. We don't need to be giving homeowners even more money. And I feel hypocritical saying that because for my homeowners and my sellers, I love to give them as much money as possible. But for home buyers, you don't need to give them more money. They are making enough already as it is. The only thing you did by waiving your appraisal and offering these extra four to five thousand dollars to help the seller situation is you got the money from the government and you're going to give it to somebody else and what are they going to do with those extra five thousand well odds are they're making already six figures maybe 50 if they had the house for three to ten years maybe they're making already fifty thousand to six figures so they just made uh, instead of making one hundred twenty thousand, they made one hundred twenty five thousand dollars they don't need more money these sellers that are selling are making a lot of money as it is already. So by you leveraging this money to buy in the house, you're just feeding those who'd already fed. So it is in my opinion, for the love of God, do not use the stimulus money to buy a house. I don't care if it's to make up your down payment. I don't care if it's to make up your closing costs. I don't care if it's especially to waive your appraisal, do stuff like that. 
do not do this. We do not need to feed more sellers more money. Keep this money in a savings account. Use it to pay off some credit cards. Jeez Louise, take out your family for a nice dinner or something, but do not use it to give to the sellers who are already making a ton of money off of you.